Hi everyone, um, so I just did my weekly pregnancy update for my other channel and um, I have kind of recorded a couple of videos for this channel, um, like update videos in the last week or so, and just didn't post them for one reason or another. So I thought I'd do, come and do a quick little update on how things are going. I don't remember when my last video was. Um, it gets a little bit confusing with the two channels. Um, so anyway, but... Um, I can record. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. I hope no one got motion sick from all of that movement. Um, okay. So, um, first of all, I saw my Lyme doctor, primary care doctor, last Monday. Um, so, almost two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. Um, and um, had a really good appointment with her. Everything was, was really good. Um, she's really happy with, um, how well I'm doing as far as the fluids go. Um, I have decided for myself that I need to be a little bit better about actually doing the fluids at least a few times a week. Um, so this week I actually ended up, um, just doing half of my infusion two days in a row and that, that worked well, I don't feel like I necessarily need the whole two liters anymore. Um, so I'm going to kind of see how it goes over the next couple of weeks doing that and um, and then probably get in touch with my doctor and ask to see if she can change my prescription so that I'm only getting a liter, um, which would be easier in some ways because then I would just get a liter bag and it wouldn't have to be refrigerated and I would just, um, I've done it before where I've had just a liter bag um, regular liter bag of, of saline and then I have two syringes of vitamins that I have to add to it before I infuse it. Um, the only thing with that is that I couldn't get my amino acids in with everything else so if my doctor still wanted me to be getting the amino acids which at this point I don't really feel like I need um, then it would have to be a separate bag um, to infuse so um, yeah so we'll see how that goes over the next few weeks um, and then I'll you know, get in touch with her. We talked also about newborn testing for the baby, um, and she is she has looked into it a little bit more. And um, what she has come up with was that um, we would test through Igenex um, or Igenix. Some people say Igenix, um, and we would be testing a sample of the placenta. And she thought it was a sample of the cord itself. Um, but I, what I have heard from people is that you do core blood. Um, I have since talked with my counselor who's very up on, I mean, she's, she's very involved in the Lyme community. I've talked about it before. Um, and she thinks that the latest stuff, um, that she's heard about is that you send the tissue samples to one lab and then you send the, some cord blood sample and you can send urine and stuff too, to, um, Igenex. So, um, yeah, so my doctor was going to look a little bit more into that. She, my counselor was going to check, um, you know, double check her, what she had heard. Um, and hopefully my doctor will have the kit or kits for me at my next appointment in March. Um, so yeah, so that I'll have those kind of ahead of time. Um, so yeah, so we're talking about newborn testing, um, the only change that we're making to my treatment right now is to try to increase my Zithromax a little bit. Um, I have a history of having um, getting tinnitus um, ringing in my ears from the full dose of Zithromax, um, full dose being 500 milligrams a day. So um, what we did this time when I switched from the Mepron to the Zithromax was that I was taking um, 250 milligrams and then twice a week taking an extra 250 milligrams. Um, so that on Sundays and Thursdays was what I ended up doing. Um, I would be taking 500. And so now we're just adding in a third day. So now I'm Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm doing 500 milligrams. And the other days I'm doing 250. Um, and um, yeah, to just try to make sure that we're covered. I'm on the Zithromax and I'm on Septin, um, which is consistently um, two doses a day of Septin. Um, so we didn't change anything else, um, 
I am going to be having some adrenal testing done um, because I've been having so much trouble in the mornings, um, kind of getting up and going and, and feeling sick and stuff like that. Um, although it does seem to be a little bit better now that I have kind of implemented a um, slower getting up process. Um, so that has helped to make the mornings a little bit easier. Um, but for the adrenal testing, I have to get myself up into the lab by 9 o'clock um, or around 9 o'clock some morning. So we'll see. It didn't, it didn't happen last week. It didn't happen this week. Um, I need to actually plan a day when I'm going to do it because otherwise it's just not going to happen. Um, so yeah, other than that, no testing, no, no treatment changes. Um, you know, I'm doing pretty well. She's thrilled with how well I'm doing. Um, she actually at one point kind of joked that maybe I just need to have a lot of kids because I'm doing so, so well, you know, relative to how I normally am, um, while pregnant. And, um, <laughs> I told Eric that he didn't think it was very funny. <laughs> um, I thought it was pretty funny. And I, I actually told her, I'm like, I don't think my husband would agree. Um, so, yeah. Um, I am 26 weeks. 26 weeks and three days today, technically. Um, so I am getting to the end of the second trimester, which is amazing. Um, I will be in the third trimester in less than two weeks. And um, by some calculations and some books and whatnot, um, I would, I'll be in the third trimester next week. So that's just crazy. I can't believe that. Um, we've started our childbirth class. We're doing um, something called the Bradley Method, which is um, basically partner-coached childbirth. Um, husband is called husband-coached childbirth, but anyone can be the, the partner to be the coach. Um, and it's a 12-week class. Um, so it's kind of like um, it's the longest, I think, of any childbirth class out there, um, and it's really comprehensive and thorough and, um, has a really high rate of natural childbirth, um, by people who use it, and, um, so yeah, so all that's good. So, so far, we've had three classes, um, this week we talked about nutrition and breastfeeding, um, and, as part of the nutrition aspect of it, we are having to start keeping, well, the women, the men don't have to, um, have to start keeping track of our protein intake each day um, because we're supposed to be getting um, 70 to 100 grams of protein a day, which at first I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to, like I knew that that was what you're supposed to get, um, but I was like, how am I possibly going to get that much? And so, you know, I started recording and found that I'm actually doing a lot better than I thought I was. Um, I've gotten over 90 grams for the last two days, um, and I'm on track to be pretty similar today. Um, so that's really encouraging to me, um, and and kind of a good reason why it might be okay for me to stop getting the amino acids in my IV, which I'm not getting on a regular basis anyway because I'm not doing the IVs every day. So, um, yeah. Um... And the other piece of news is that Eric is switching jobs. Um, so he is, today is his last day at his current job. Um, and then he's taking next week off between the two and then starts his new job that following Monday. Um, and we're actually going away for part of the week next week, which will be nice. But um, so kind of along with the job change, which is really positive, the job change in itself, um, of course, our insurance is changing. So that has been a little stressful, a little bit of a headache to kind of sort through, try to figure out, um, you know, how well it'll cover us. There are three different options for plans, and um, we went through and did calculations and actually found that the kind of middle-of-the-road plan it actually will be the best for us, um, which was a little bit surprising. We thought that the top plan would be the obvious choice, but um, based on my care, um, my doctors and everything right now, it won't actually be better. So, um, yeah. Um, so that's been a little bit stressful and Eric is having a little bit of a tough time at his, uh, for his last day today because he really has loved this job and is going to miss it there and miss the people and everything. But, um, it's really going to be a positive change for him. Um, he's going to be doing, um, 
kind of more stuff that he really loves doing. He's going to be working with people he's worked with before, including a good friend of his um, who's also switching jobs starting a week after Eric. Um, so it's going to be great. And he, um, as part of his job offer, um, and included that he will be able to work from home two days a week. So he'll he'll not really start that for a few months probably, but um, it's great that, that will he'll be able to do that once the baby's here especially. Um, so yeah, so that'll be good. Um, I didn't think if there was anything else. I've done quite a bit of baking over the last couple of weeks, um, which has been great. Um, great, like, I love baking, so it's great that I'm doing that, but it's also great that I'm just able to do that again, because there was quite a while where that would just be too much, um, and the time it takes to stand up and mix things together and prepare things and everything was just too much, so it's nice that I'm kind of getting back to being able to do those kinds of things. Um, so today I made, um, first I made a um, homemade graham cracker crust to then make a um, chocolate peanut butter tofu pie to put into it, um, so that's in the fridge chilling right now. Um, and then I also decided to bake black bean brownies, which um, if any of you are gluten free, they are gluten free because it uses black beans instead of flour. Um, so if you're interested in that, you can Google for recipes. Um, that's what I did. And I kind of combined a couple of recipes together to some extent. Um, so we'll see how those turn out. Um, I've had black bean brownies before and they're not bad, um, but I've never made them before. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on. Um, if you're interested, again, I say this like every video, if you're interested in more specific updates about the pregnancy, um, you can go and visit my other channel, um, which I'll put a link to down below. And, um, and I haven't updated my blog in a while, but, um, I do have the intention of putting an update in there soon and maybe I will in the next week or so. Um, hopefully I'll have to try to make that a priority. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's, it's basically the update on what's going on with me. Um, just kind of trying to plug along and, um, you know, do as much as I can and not overdo it and find kind of the new, the new, um, the new normal kind of, which is constantly changing. So I can't really get used to it being a certain way. Um, so. Um, so I hope you're all, I hope you've all had a good week. It has been extremely cold here. Hopefully, you know, wherever you are, you've been managed with the cold if it's cold or you're enjoying some nice warmth. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I hope you've had a good week and have a good weekend. Um, and I'll hopefully be back within the next few weeks to do another update. So I'll talk to you all soon.